What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy, C, back with another reaction video. Now, this is Uncle Roger reviewing Naruto Ramen um, Grill Foods. Now, the reason I did doing this one is because Uncle Roger is f real funny to me, especially dealing with food. Just as a comedian, he real funny, man. I've been watching it since I got put on to him. I've been watching his videos a lot. And Naruto, y'all know I love anime, and Naruto in my top animes. So, we're going to get right into it, man. Everything look nice, but he forgot one important element for ramen. Naruto, my family's favorite anime. Also, Naruto, your favorite anime? That a bit basic. That like saying your favorite band is Coldplay, or your favorite chef is Jamie Oliver. Straight from Ichiraku's ramen. Nah, I, that's funny, but... I don't agree with that. It's because when an anime, okay, Naruto, Dragon Ball Z, all that, um, One Piece, Bleach, all that is mainstream. But if it's your favorite anime, bro, then it should be understandable. Because it's like, them are like, it's a reason why they're, it, it's not like they just mainstream just to be mainstream. It's a reason why they're mainstream. Like, Naruto is a beautiful anime, and I wouldn't like, that's a lot of people's favorite anime. Um, and today I'm going to be showing you my take on Naruto's favorite ramen. And the first thing we gotta do is Shasu, AK. Ch no, no. Hiya, not Chasu. Chasu is Chinese barbecue pork. If the thing Uncle Roger say is halal in my food truck video. Is smoky barbecue pork halal? Yes. What you want in Naruto ramen? It's chashu. Chashu is Japanese based pork belly. Guga, don't call thing by wrong name. Auntie Helen called me by wrong name once, and that's how I know she's cheating. The first thing I need to do is to marinate. So I started with a little Good. bit of marinade, water, correct? Followed by sesame oil. Then I added mirin, dark soy sauce, brown sugar, and white pepper. Now there's left mm. to do is to mix it well because. A bit weird. A bit weird, but okay. And to marinate it, what I like to do is to put it in a vacuum bag. This will ensure that the entire surface of the meat is fully covered with the marinade. Wait, no, no, no. You you marinate it after you cook. Hiya. Who marinate before cooking? You got it wrong way round, Guga. That like bringing women to bedroom and then buying them dinner. You want to let it marinate for at least 12 hours. Or mm -hmm. Okay, 12 hour, okay. The next day I took it out and this is what it looks like. The dark coloration is a sign that the marinade did its job. Ooh, it go from white to black, opposite of Michael Jackson. Now the next thing we need to do is to go ahead and roll this up so that we can cook it. And as you Correct, can see, roll it up, correct. So the first thing I try to do is to just roll it into itself like this. And man, that does not work because take a look at this. No, it worked. a good idea. Just what roll? What to do is to go ahead and split it open a little bit more. This will give me more... No, no, no need to split it open. It working, you roll just fine. Why right. give yourself extra work? Why slice shit up? And man, that does not work because take a look at this. It's just not a good idea. He is That's doing how you it know though. Kuka don't beat his kid. Every Asian parent who hit their kid, they all know how to roll newspapers super tight. Hi, yeah, Kuka. Just beat your kid a bit. Beat your kid, and then you learn how to roll shit properly. The only thing left to do now is wasting time. Because once I was done, <laughs> take a look at this. Now that is what I'm talking about. Mm. That's what they call bondage. Bondage is Uncle Roger's favorite genre on the hub because it reminds me of making ramen. Sorry, children. This not only for a great presentation, but it will also cook evenly. Talking about that, the next thing to do is to go ahead and throw it into my smoker. Smoker? Temper Guga, Naruto ramen, the pork belly just look braised, not smoked. But I guess this is Guga. Judging from his previous video, Uncle Roger review, he loved playing with fire. <laughs> Also gonna give a wonderful smoky flavor, and if you don't have a smoker, you should definitely get one. But it is who also have space to have smoker in house. Guga, <laughs> not everybody rich like you have big house. Uncle Roger house, I can barely afford stove. Who can afford special smoker? Because once you hit an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit, this is what it looks like. Fuyo, color nice, color nice. Seeing a little bit of char on the top. 
So for that, I just grabbed my torch and went to... Ooh. This is quick work. It that, literally takes... That a lot of fire. Hiya, Guga. Naruto ramen, again, it just look place. Stick to the correct anime. This Naruto, not last airbender. Very noticeable. <laughs> now, before slicing the pork belly, you want to let it rest for a little bit. If you don't, the juices is just going to completely correct. run out. So after you rested about one hour, it was... One hour not enough. Put in fridge better. And as I did, oh, I could Ooh. not be happier. It looked nice. Look how juicy it is. The juice is still squirting out. Fuyo. This char shoe juicier than Nephew Nigel Instagram DM. By the way, go follow Nephew Nigel on Instagram. He go just follow, moved yeah. house, post a lot of his moving house bullshit. Here we're talking about the broth. This one is where all the flavor comes from. And remember this, it's not a race, but it is a marathon. Naruto's favorite ramen. A marathon is race. Which is usually made with <laughs> pork bones. But since I did not have any and it was hard to find, I went to. Bro, he be saying the most hilarious shit. Because it's like they be doing too much, bro. And it be like. I don't know, bro. I know he's a comedian now. And I guess he do. Um, I don't know if he cook or anything like that. But um, it's like, bro. Like, I'm like. How can I put this? They be doing too much when I watch other people cooking stuff it's like they be just doing it just like just to be saying shit and i'm glad he be pointing that out bro next best thing which is ribs rib, but it no, be looking good no, though no no nobody use rib for ramen prof it's for ramen yes that's what i'm talking about now this next ingredient is not traditional whatsoever what is added to my ramen because i love it and so does everyone else in my family and as you can see it is beef bone marrow no this beef bone and I wanted to add it to my ramen because I love it. I know you love bone marrow, but you can't just throw shit you love into ramen prof. Otherwise, Uncle Roger ramen prof gonna be made out of rice cooker and Nigella Lawson. It has an amazing... Bro, I thought he was doing it on Naruto. Like, based. Like, he was making Naruto ramen, not like... Some qualities of Naruto ramen and shit I love. Flavor. And hopefully it's gonna take my ramen to a whole new level. The next ingredient I'm gonna be adding is this one. Now I know- Okay, chicken feet, correct. That doesn't look good. And I agree. Because I mean, who loves chicken feet? Who no. love who? So many Asian people love chicken feet. That my only food fetish. Sometimes I wish chicken can start only fan. Oh, but chicken feet in ramen broth, that could- <laughs> I added everything into a large stock pot, throw in a good amount of water and took it outside. Because this is gonna take a while. As you can see, a lot of scum is gonna come up. Ah, he removing the scum. Good, good. You can skim it little by little and that's okay. Nice work, Guga. Nice work. Oh, first batch of water. Oh, and he removing the planching liquid. Very nice. That's how you get nice clean prof. Nephew Nick forgot to do this. That's why his prof as dirty as his brain. After about 4 hours, the next thing to do is to add a bunch of other ingredients. And here's what I chose for this broth. We got ginger, garlic, Yes, aromatic can go in. But make sure you only add aromatic near the end of boiling. Maybe the last hour or so. Otherwise, the flavor not good. So after adding it all up, I just make sure- Mushroom have umami flavor. It's time to leave it alone. Once that time was up, I went ahead and added even more flavor. And here's what it- Oh, it's that dashi. Water I threw in- Ah, he making dashi. Good, good, good. A dry seaweed. Found Kombu, correct for dashi. Let that simmer for about five minutes. Kombu and bonito flake. Good, dashi, good. Because- because once you are done, you are rewarded with this. I'm telling you, friends, mm. it's incredible. It Hiya, soup color a bit too dark. At this stage, tonkotsu prof supposed to be white and creamy. Look at my good friend Way of Ramen channel. That how tonkotsu prof supposed to look. I think Guga didn't boil it hard enough. The fat didn't emulsify. Hiya. However, oh, it is yeah. still not 100% done yet because we need to add two more special ingredients. Miso. Miso. And as you can see, I chose the red and white. Adding both gives a wonderful flavor. Just make sure that once... No, you don't miso just add miso into your broth. You should make miso tare by itself separately. You can't just drop miso into boiling water because the heat killed the miso flavor. Like peanut butter. Hi, uh, you're wasting miso. Miso very expensive. Don't boil it. But now that our broth is ready, the next thing to do is to start up our toppings. And the very first one we're gonna make is eggs. Egg. These are super easy. Hmm. 
Let's Color see. Soft boil. To get those soft boil, good. Boil my eggs for a total of six minutes. Once the time is up, I immediately. Six minutes, a bit fast, but it's okay. Prevent it from cooking any. Food. Ice bath, good. The next thing we gotta do is the marinade. So into a bowl, I threw in a little bit of soy sauce, followed by Miriam, sesame oil, a good amount of brown sugar, and finished it off with water. Mix it well because once you have done so, the only thing left to do is to add it to the eggs. Marinade look a bit too dark. You want the same color as Obama, not Wesley Snipes. Keep in mind that the longer you keep them in there, <laughs> the stronger the flavor of the oh marinade will God. penetrate. For me at least- Don't use the word penetrate when describing cooking. It's very sexual, this word. Don't say penetrate. Just say marinade. Just say marinade. Three hours in the refrigerator is- Hiya, he forget paper towel on it. Time. They turn dark real quick. Gonna have white spot. How it would be if you leave it overnight. And these eggs- See? Anything. See, no paper towel. The marinade can't penetrate the top part. It looks like it got bow spot. Next topping, we gotta make nemna. Nice. This here, this is what it looks like. I uh, don't get it from tin. What able to find was this one here on my Asian supermarket. But I guess menma, very hard to get outside Japan. So that okay. Moving on to the next topping, this one might be the most popular of them all. I'm mm. Naruto Maki. Fish cake. You, know you can make Naruto's favorite ramen without this. It is fish cake. And I think I understand why Naruto likes this very much. Check out the ingredients. Do you see what I see? Monosodium gluten. <gasps> AKA MSG, the king of flavor. It got MSG inside for you. <laughs> Uncle Roger didn't know Naruto Maki got MSG. By the way, many niece and nephew telling Uncle Roger, MSG make them thirsty. And Uncle Roger say, don't be pussy. If thirsty, <laughs> just drink water. Good food worth getting thirsty for. Stop thirsting over woman. Thirst over MSG. It more satisfying in your life. MSG don't leave you. The last one and maybe the most important one of them all is the noodles. I've chose these. At least for me, they are the best ramen noodles I ever had. What? I just followed the... That the best ramen noodle you ever have? Hiya, why your standard so low, Guga? This just regular dry ramen you get at any Japanese shop? Have you never had fresh ramen in your life before? It is pretty simple, there's no secret to it. But now Hiya, that ramen too thin also. For this type of miso ramen, you want to use thicker noodle. It is enough talking and it is time to plate and eat, so let's do it. Good. That shit looks great, bro. Plating no look nice. But he forgot one important element for ramen. Where the aroma oil? Where, Where the, the aroma oil? oil? Enough with the close up. Why you want to show everybody you fucked up? <laughs> All right, everybody, here we have our beautiful ramen today, and Joe, no steak today. <laughs> I love how he always looks so happy. <laughs> bro, this is Naruto's ramen, bro. That's right, from, that's right. <laughs> from the Ichiraku ramen shop. You're absolutely correct. Okay. Try to make it as, uh, as authentic. Stop Let's talking. Say. Eat now. The seaweed sake already, you see? Fast. How does it taste? Let's see. Oh, that's like... Oh, come on now. Ah. That's like a uh, chicken eat pork. That is fire, everybody. That's, That's all fire. I can say. One guy described as chicken eat pork, the other guy described as fire. Uncle Roger still don't know what it tastes like. So weird to see Guga not eating steak, but overall, not bad. The ramen look exactly like Naruto ramen. Just next time, make your miso tare separately. And remember to make aroma oil higher. All right, so damn, bro, I'm gonna get an ad on there, man. Hey, that's for another video. But, um, what I was gonna say, damn, what I was gonna say, bro, he, I ain't gonna lie, I gotta do some more videos on him. Send me, if y'all, um, watch Uncle Roger videos, send me some stuff in the comments that y'all want me to react to. Maybe, um, him reacting to um, somebody else cooking or anything, bro. Cause he wanted a genuine like even though it's like a second persona it's like one of them genuine ones like he like even if they like famous chefs he could point out he makes it funny but he points out when they actually like fuck up because bro it usually like i think sometimes they be doing stuff just to be doing it like he literally had it folded and then said it wouldn't work 
But hey, um, that's pretty much it, man. Watching this video, please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy, She. I'm gone.